Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So recently a lot of people have been asking me what do you do when you go to a barber? What kind of haircut do you ask for? What kind of haircut do I get? What kind of haircut do I have? And what do you do and how do you get the haircut that you want when you go to a barber? So first off before I start I'll just say that Going to a barber is usually a lot better if you're looking for a kind of old school, cleaner kind of style, as opposed to a salon. Now that's just my past experience. I know some great salons that give great haircuts, but me personally, I like to go to a barber shop. Now second is the absolute best thing that you can do for a barber is bring in a picture. Because if you bring in a picture, you and him are on the same exact page and you know exactly, he knows what you want and you know exactly what you want. So because a lot of terms that come with haircuts and barbering can fall into the same categories and can be quite confusing sometimes. So let me go into what I do when I go to a barbershop. So, Nine times out of ten, I will almost always get a low taper. Now, if you don't know what a low taper is, it is where um, low being the level of the fade or taper on your head, and it goes around and it goes from shorter and then fades up <clears throat> to the top. Now, I personally think that it is the easiest, cleanest, uh, classiest kind of haircut that you can get if you're going to be doing a side part of pompadour or even a full pompadour. So it's very, very simple, very easy, and it keeps your head really clean. It cleans you up because I don't like because my hair grows down really low at the back of my neck. And uh, when I get a low taper, it keeps everything really clean and really, really organized. Now, for the top of my head, uh, my hair is pretty long and it goes down to about here. And that's personally the way I like it because I like my hair a lot longer so it can go as you can see all the way back to nearly the back of my head because I have some bad cowlicks on my hair and when I have all that length it gives it more time to, or more length to cover up those cowlicks so when you're deciding how long you want your hair to be it's a lot of trial and error so for me, I found out that I like it a lot longer, but some guys I know they're perfectly fine right here doing a pompadour, but me personally, I can't do that. So that's another thing is just make sure that you know your hair and you know what you want and it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. And then lastly is know what kind of haircut you want before you go into the barbershop. It can be very confusing when you go into a barbershop and you just say, uh, give me a haircut, clean me up. It can be very confusing for the barber because they don't know exactly what you want. So it's so before you go into the barbershop, do some research. And I know, um, just go on Google Images and look up Shoreham Barbershop because they have some insane, incredible, amazing rockabilly styles. And even psychobilly. And they, if you want something really really awesome looking definitely look up something from them and you'll definitely find a lot of really interesting haircuts or just some stuff that's really simple and it's the perfect picture to show your barber because the pictures that they take are all around the head and they show you pretty much everything that you would receive if you were to get that haircut so that's about it. Um, barber, going to a barber is um, shouldn't be anything scary. You know, it's uh, quite simple to know what you want, but that's just what it is. You have to know what you want. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it, maybe leave a like or subscribe. So there you have it.